All right. Now that our files have uploaded to the server, we can go ahead and move on to the next step of installation, which is going through the install wizard that Expression Engine has built into the software. Once the files are uploaded and you go to the site where it's located, you're going to see this message that's saying the config file does not appear formatted correctly. The reason is, is because Expression Engine hasn't run its install script which writes to the config file and sets this up for you. Once you get comfortable with EE, you could begin to configure this file yourself, um, but Expression Engine will do it for you. Now to get to the install wizard, we go to forward slash system. As we said before, it's the system folder that holds all of the Expression Engine encoding hider software, and you can see that even this installer is set up here which we'll come back to um, at the end of this wizard. So it's going to ask us um, what we want to do here and our option here is to just begin and install a new copy of Expression Engine. Here we go. Click here to install a new copy. We'll go ahead and agree to the terms. Remember this is commercial software and the first thing that you're prompted with is a license number. So you do uh, need a license to run Expression Engine. Um, we're using a freelancer license for this workshop here, um, but there are commercial and non-commercial licenses as well. Server settings, and this will be automatically configured for you. Um, you shouldn't have to change this, and if you have changed your system file name, um, that needs to be updated here as well as email webmaster. And then database information that is pretty standard for installing any content management system. We will leave the database prefix um, and the database connection settings to default. And then the admin account. Um, you can go ahead and set this up from the beginning. Right here, your screen name. Finally, name of the site. And then a few options about what modules you want set up and installed and ready to go from the start. Now all of these will be uploaded and you'll have the ability to turn all of these on later, but um, you could also do that from the start if you know that you're going to be using certain ones of them. For the purposes of this series, we will be leaving all of this content um, for the modules just as it is. So let's go ahead and go back and fill out our form.